Hey guys, Tim here. We're back after a, a brief vacation during CES. We're doing an unboxing of this Infinity V4 from Seton. Uh, this is a uh, 4 HD channel uh, TV tuner card. It is uh, Windows 7 compatible. Although I do know people that are running this under Windows 8, so I'm not quite sure if they're using the Windows 7 drivers in Windows 8 or if they're actually uh, Windows 8 drivers out for this card yet. Uh, it is uh, Media Center certified and uh, can export out to Xbox 360 over the Media Center extender. Um, there is also a Seton Media Center extender, which I hope to be taking a look at soon, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, some brief details. It come, it's a 4-tuner PCIe card. Uh, it's a 1X card. We'll see that when we open it up. It has both high-profile and low-profile connectors, which is great, or backplates. Uh, it has an F-connector adapter cable. And wants a 2 gigahertz or faster dual-core or quad-core, 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, one, this is one thing to actually check out. Make sure you have an HDCP compliant graphics card or onboard graphics, almost everything is. Um, and you want HDMI, preferably, uh, with um, HDMI 3. Point, or 1.3, uh, if not 1.4 if you can, if your card has that. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. This is going to be part of our uh, media center build we're going to be doing later in the week. So we have a quick install guide, a cable card activation support, and that's why this uh, this TV tuner is actually pretty special. Uh, you can put an M tuner card in, and uh, you can get that from your local uh, cable company. Uh, quick instruction guide, your F connector to I'm not sure what kind of connector that is, but it's what plugs into the back of the card. And then we have the card itself. And real quickly, the uh, smaller face plate in case you need it. So this card can do four uh, HD uh, channels at the same time. The cable card slot is right here so it's exposed from the back of your PC. Uh, it slots in on those pins which all look like they're okay. Um, and then of course you got the 1x adapter and that's you know pretty much it for the chipsets underneath the uh, EM shield for the most part. So um, and then here's your cable in connector and an I'm not sure what's back there. It just looks like a little vent hole. Yeah, there's just there's a little slot here, but on this card there's nothing back there. There's no pins to hit. So I'm not quite sure what that little hole's for, but anyways, as you can see, that guy there. But pretty basic. Um you know the great thing with this is you can do four uh Record four things simultaneously to an HTPC, a home media center, um, and then using either the Seton or another uh, media center extender, so an Xbox, there are some other third party ones out there, you could record in one location and then display to, you know, multiple TVs, however many that, you know, your hard drive could support the live streams to. So, this is Tim. For Timmy Tech TV, uh, keep a lookout for our upcoming uh, Media Center PC build. We'll of course feature this Infinity V card. Until then, we'll see you next time.